Hi right, small ones, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be removing this steering wheel, um, fitting a temporary steering wheel while we send this to Royal Steering Wheels based in Oxford, I think they are. And they're going to retrim this steering wheel, so we're going to get an Alcantara steering wheel with red stitching and the red stripe at the top. So I thought I'd make this just for anyone who is interested in getting the steering wheel off. Um, for VWs, Audi, Seat, Skoda, it's a fairly simple process. You'll also need an M12 spline bit or triple square. I believe a T55 or T60 Torx bit may fit. Um, and this is for the one big bolt that's behind this holding it on. Um, and you'll also need a screwdriver, flat screwdriver. This may be a bit too big, but you guys will see um, just to release the retaining screws here. So the first thing you want to do, because we're going to be removing the airbag unit, uh, you want to remove uh, the power to your battery. So I'm just going to disconnect the ground and put that on the side. That's going to break the circuit. So nice and simple, the ground's disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside and we'll make a start on the removal of the steering wheel. So what you want to do is just turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the left or right. And you will see that there's this little gap now right here. So this is where we're going to pop the screwdriver in. So just as I was recording this, the uh, replacement steering wheel actually just arrived. You can see the guys driving off now. So we'll get this steering wheel off and then get this one on. Okay, so as you just saw, you want to get this spring, push it down, uh, and then it's just released. It's a bit loose here. You see there's a gap. Then what you want to do is pop your key in. This side is out. As you can see, I've got my fingers in there. Just rotate it 180 degrees, about there. And we're just going to do the same thing on the... And there you go. So as long as you disconnected the battery, this should all be safe now. So we'll remove this, and there's one plug over here. So let me put this airbag unit on the other side. Now I'm doing this one-handed. So you see this white clip? You basically just need to pull that as you're pulling the uh, plug. So you go sort of pull it on both sides. Get a tug and you're all good. Just want to reach in here and grab this. Should be two clips either side. Just pull it like so. Wiggle it a little bit. Okay, so then just pull it that way. I've just popped the flash on for you guys so you can see a bit better. So yeah, if you don't have any spline or triple square bits, you can use a T55. As you guys can see, nice and snug. I'm not going to use it because it's not the correct tool. Triple square or spline bit, just pop that in. Um, it's going to be very tight because obviously it is your steering wheel, so it may need two hands. Oh, definitely don't drop it. Yeah, so it's got thread lock or nylock lock or whatever it's called. Just pop that up here. Okay, so there will be markings. Um, as you can see, this one's actually slightly off. So on the uh, steering column, I think it's called, like the actual bit where you put the wheel onto, you have a marking, um, and then you have a marking that you just need to line that up to on the steering wheel. So you can see it's very slightly off. It should be a bit higher. But anyway, once you're at this stage, just give your steering wheel a tug. And it's a bit harder with one hand, but yeah. So now it's off. So you can see all the connectors, and this is the back of the unit. So let's open up this box that's just arrived from Royal Steering Wheels. So we'll pop our steering wheel in the same box. And here's the temporary one that they've sent over. So this one definitely is uh, a lot more chunky than our current one. I'm just going to pop this here for a sec. So I believe Royal Steering Wheels generally provide a, an exchange service where you give them a deposit or you pay for like the main part of the work. Um, if they have your steering wheel in stock for more common cars like BMWs, Audi S3s, A3s, Golfs, they'll actually build your steering wheel, send it out to you. Once you receive it, then you can send them your old one. But I think either they didn't have it in stock or because our car's not very common, they couldn't actually do that. So I'm having to get a replace a temporary steering wheel. So if we had a, a second car, um, I could have actually just taken the steering wheel off and just left the car. But because this is our daily, I need to use it. So what you want to do is just line up this, uh, these markers as best you can around there is good so let's push it on so that's nearly perfect uh, i'm not sure if it's just the uh, markings on this steering wheel because obviously it's a temporary one it's been used a lot um so yeah i'm not sure if if it's just off very slightly you get your center screw screw it in here's your m12 put your new one on Okay, so I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Because this steering wheel doesn't have the multi-function uh, 
buttons like the volume and pick up phone calls and things like that this plug isn't going to be needed so we're just going to leave this hanging position your airbag unit of course like the correct way up um, and then leave a little gap just so you can pop the plug in we're going to try do it one-handed may need two hands yep so just line up the plug push it in you should hear a click so that's snapped in place um, and then all you need to do is just push your airbag unit on of course be careful don't push it too hard okay so you heard one side just click in you try lift it it won't lift and then this side just push there okay so the battery is reconnected the airbag hasn't gone off that's a good sign but i'm still going to <laughs> i'm just going to start the car outside just in case Once you've put your new wheel on, a lot of these codes will come up. The steering wheel, the little steering wheel light will go off after about a mile of drive, oh, not even a mile, about a quarter of a mile of driving. And then finally, this is how we're looking. So I'm really happy with the job that they've done. Uh, one quick note, they weren't able to wrap this because it doesn't have sufficient material. Um, inside this is hollow, so there's a few screws on the back which we're probably going to take off. Um, get it sprayed, maybe gloss black, matte black. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What colour would go well for this grey piece? Um, we're going to keep this gloss black, but anyway, so Royal Steering Wheels have done all of this in Alcantara. It feels so soft. Uh, red stitching all the way around, nice and bright. Uh, and then the leather red strip at the top at 12 o'clock. So this is how we're looking. I'm really happy with the result, really happy with the work that they've done.